WHO sounds alarm on viral hepatitis. According to World Health Organization, WHO 2024 Global Hepatitis Report, the number of lives lost due to viral hepatitis is increasing day by day. Hepatitis B is the second leading infectious cause of death in the world. There are 1.3 million deaths per year. The World Hepatitis Summit highlights need to provide better tools for diagnosis and treatment, decreasing of medication prices, testing and treatment coverage rates have delayed. The World Hepatitis Summit told The campaign of WHO elimination of hepatitis B goal by 2030 will be successful then when swift actions are taken seriously. As per new records from 187 countries, the number of deaths from viral hepatitis increased from million in 2019, 1.3 million in 2022. More than 1.3 million in 2023. Out of these, 83% were caused by hepatitis B and 17% by hepatitis C every day. There are 3,500 people dying globally due to hepatitis B and C infections. However, The deaths are rising because far too and only few people with hepatitis are being diagnosed and treated. The Director General of WHO, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, said, is committed to supporting countries to use all the tools at their disposal at affordable prices to save the lives. WHO estimates. 254 million people live with hepatitis B and 50 million with hepatitis C in 2022 worldwide. The burden of chronic hepatitis B and C infections is more aged between 30 to 54 years old. Out of that, around 58% of men are infected, 12% among children under 18 years of age. New incidence estimates indicate a slight decrease compared to 2019, but the overall incidence of viral hepatitis remains high. In 2022, there were 2.2 million new infections, down from 2.5 million in 2019. These include 1.2 million new hepatitis B infections and nearly 1 million new hepatitis C infections. More than 6,000 people are getting newly infected with viral hepatitis each day. Global Progress and Gaps in Diagnosis and Treatment However, across all the regions, there is only 13% of people living with chronic hepatitis B infection had been diagnosed. Approximately 3%, 7 million, People received antiviral therapy in 2022. 36% people diagnosed and 20%, 12.5 million, received curative treatment in hepatitis C. The global targets 80% of people to treat living with chronic hepatitis B and hepatitis C by 2030. As per 2019 reports, Hepatitis B diagnosis increased from 10% to 13% and treatment from 2% to 3% only. Similarly, hepatitis C diagnosis increased from 21% to 36% and treatment from 13% to 20%. WHO African region bears 63% of new hepatitis B infections, yet despite this burden, Only 18% of newborns in the region receive the hepatitis B birth dose vaccination. In the Western Pacific region, which accounts for 47% of hepatitis B deaths, treatment coverage stands at 23% among people diagnosed, which is far too low to reduce mortality.
Bangladesh, China, Ethiopia, India, Indonesia, Nigeria, Pakistan, the Philippines, the Russian Federation, and Vietnam collectively shoulder nearly two thirds of the global burden of hepatitis B and C. Achieving universal access to prevention, diagnosis, and treatment in these 10 countries by 2025, alongside intensified efforts in the African region, is essential to get the global response back on track to meet the Sustainable Development Goals. Disparities in Treatment Pricing and Service Delivery Currently, viral hepatitis medicines are very expensive or not available properly in many countries fail to procure them at these lower prices. Tenofovir for treatment of hepatitis B is off patent and available at a global benchmark price of two United States dollars and 40 cents per month. Only seven of the 26 reporting countries paid prices at or below the benchmark. Similarly, a 12-week course of pan-genotypic sofosbavir, Decladisvir to treat hepatitis C is available at a global benchmark price of 60 United States dollars. Yet only four of 24 reporting countries paid prices at or below the benchmark. But many affected populations still face out-of-pocket expenses for viral hepatitis services. Only 60% of reporting countries offer viral hepatitis testing and treatment services free of charge, either entirely or partially. Recommendations for Accelerating Hepatitis Elimination A public health approach to viral hepatitis, designed to accelerate progress towards ending the epidemic by 2030. The approaches are include Expanding more for testing and diagnostics. Apply policies to implementation for proper treatment. Importance on primary care efforts. In time service delivery. Optimize product regulation and supply. Investment need more on priority countries. Mobilizing innovative financing. Improved data for action. Aware can affected communities. Society on advanced research. Treatment to Cures Hepatitis B Funding is a challenge. Fund is one of the biggest issues. Funding for viral hepatitis in the global level is not sufficient for health budgets. Required more to meet the needs. Anyway, the research teams are working in different geographic locations dedicatedly. We appreciate their efforts. We hope that one day we will definitely hear good news about hepatitic B cure. I hope you have got already about the latest information on HBV viral infection. Thanks for watching Health Wisdom YouTube channel.